he would like to know why are the tags inside the kilts in the front instead of the back like everything else i know we've had people ask us this at festivals too that's and an hence that's why the start of the confusion with wearing the kilt backwards comes from as well do you know where no it's that's not where they're wearing a kilt backwards that's just people being weird well, no we've we've had i've had <coughs> some people say that is why they've had it on backwards when i've Talk to them about it because the tag, the tag all their uh, old clothes has they, the tag in the back, so they assume yep. the tag goes in the back. All right. Interesting. Most, Interesting. Most companies will put the tag on the inside back of the garment. Um, some kilt companies will put them on the front on the inside. Mac, do you know, I, I actually had, but way back when we first started, I had a reason for putting it in the front of the kilt on the back side of the front apron or, you know, on that, you know, that area. Do you know why I did that? Um... No, I put it there because you told me to. That's a very good point. <laughs> good man. That's the good right man. reason, by the way. Um, the uh, the reason I decided to start putting our kilt or our the tags on our kilts, um, the labels on our kilts between the two aprons on the back side of the front apron, is because I didn't want to annoy people. Um, if you have a tag in the back of your clothing, um, it can really, especially for like acetate tags or, or tags that are. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, synthetic material, they can tend to make you sweat a little bit. Um, and I didn't want to bother people with a tag or have it flip up or annoy them or make them, you know, itchy or, or tickle them or whatever. So I just put it between the two aprons. It seemed like a natural thing to do just to get it out of the way. And it's, you you can't see it, whether it's on the back side of the right. apron or inside the back of the kilt. So it didn't really matter. So you were just being nice. It. Yeah. It, it, it was literally the most common sense spot to put it in the same way okay. that um, I'll, I'll kind of give a tangent um, in the same way that our casual kilt the velcro there you know you could put the the scratchy side facing and the soft side away or you can do it the other direction um, we always put this the scratchy side facing away and the soft side facing towards you because if you don't align the the velcro exactly correctly it's not going to you know hurt or scratch at your belly right right you know as you're wearing the kilt mm -hmm. so little tiny things like that like snipping the corners of the velcro velcro so it doesn't poke you you know we're we try to pay attention to tiny details like that mm -hmm. and this isn't meant to sound like a commercial but we try to, to like... do stuff like that <laughs> to, to to so the end user has a better better experience so there you go that's it there's really not a lot of Tadar. reason for it outside of eh, it made sense Indeed. I thought I thought I went back to the tradition of the the Highland soldiers writing their last letter to their loved one on the inside of their apron just before they charge. And it's like, dear Anna, God willing, I shall see you again in the spring. If not, give my love to Angus. <clears throat> no, but no, there yeah. is some uh, uh, precedent for kilt makers, you know, way back when writing notes on the mm -hmm. the internals of sure. their kilt. So. There is something to it. Yeah. I don't okay. think any of us are writing, you know, untoward <laughs> comments on the inside lining of the kilt, on the back side of the inside lining, or on the on the canvas. Please on the do inside. not take your kilt apart. To... No, no, <laughs> don't do it. There's not from us. There's not going to be anything there. I promise. Yeah, there's only one golden ticket per thousand kilts, so you know you're not. You're. It's not worth it. <laughs> I was just making a joke. I had no idea there was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know, I know, like notes about tartan. You know, but, but they not write the tartan, on kilt themselves. Sometimes people, uh, the kilt makers, would actually sign the lining kind of thing. Okay. Or, or the, un, the okay. back side of the lining, the that horse or canvas that's inside the kilt. Hmm. Yeah. Neat. Indeed. Cool. I hope that answers the question about why we put our tag on the front of the kilt versus on the back of the kilt. If there's any questions you guys have about why we make things the way we do, let us know in the comments. Remember, if you dig our content, please remember to like this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified when we have new content. Have a great day, guys.